A Community in Anguish The Vanishing of Devon Marsman February 2022 A chill hung over Halifax. 16-year-old Devon Marsman vanished. Last seen in Spryfield, a quiet community now shrouded in fear. Days turned into weeks. Hope dwindled. Where was Devon? Searches were organised. Flyers blanketed the city. Devon's mother, Teresa Gray, became a beacon of strength, her voice echoing with a mother's love and desperation. Each passing day, the weight of uncertainty grew heavier. The police investigated, but leads were scarce. The community held its breath, united in worry and a shared prayer for Devon's safe return. But as time marched on, a sinister question began to surface. Had something terrible happened to Devon? Whispers turn to screams. The investigation unfolds. The investigation intensified. Police canvassed neighborhoods, interviewed friends, and followed every whisper that might lead them to Devon. The case gripped Halifax, the mystery deepening with every passing day. Weeks turned into months. The initial hope that Devon had simply run away began to fade. The whispers grew louder, fueled by fear and speculation. Was there someone out there who knew what happened to Devon? Then, a grim discovery. Human remains were found. The news sent shockwaves through Halifax. Could this be the answer to the agonizing mystery that had haunted the city for so long? The medical examiner's confirmation was a blow that shattered the remaining hope. The remains were Devon's. The missing person case had become a homicide investigation. Justice's long shadow, arrests and accusations. The news of Devon's death and the confirmation of homicide sent a chill down the spines of Halifax residents. The investigation took a dramatic turn. Suddenly, whispers were replaced by names. Trayton Alexander Marsman, 26, was arrested. The charge, second degree murder. The news reverberated through the community, even more so when the connection was revealed. Trayton was a relative of Devon's. Another arrest followed. A 20-year-old male, unnamed due to being a minor at the time of the alleged crime, was charged with accessory after the fact and obstruction of justice. The pieces of the puzzle were starting to fall into place, but the picture they painted was a horrifying one. The arrests brought a wave of emotions, relief, anger, and a profound sense of sadness. For Devon's family, the news was a confirmation of their worst fears. The fight for justice for their beloved Devon had begun. A mother's strength, a community's embrace. Teresa Gray's fight. Throughout the agonizing ordeal, one figure remained unyielding. Teresa Gray, Devon's mother. Her strength and resilience became a source of inspiration for the community. She refused to let her son's memory fade, her voice a powerful reminder of the human cost of this tragedy. Teresa's grief was palpable, her pain visible in every word she spoke. Yet, she channeled her anguish into a relentless pursuit of justice for her son. She became a voice for Devon, demanding answers and accountability. The community rallied around Teresa, offering support and comfort during this unimaginable time. Candlelight vigils were held and memorials were erected in Devon's honor. Halifax stood united, embracing Teresa and her family in their grief. Teresa's fight for justice became a shared mission for the community. The people of Halifax were determined to stand with her to ensure that Devon's story was heard and that those responsible for his death would be held accountable.
healing together. Section 6. The Unanswered Questions. The Ongoing Investigation. While the arrests provided a sense of relief, they also brought to light a new set of questions. The investigation into Devon's death was far from over. Authorities believed that others might hold crucial information, urging anyone with knowledge to come forward. The police remained tight-lipped about the specifics of the case, careful not to jeopardize the ongoing investigation. However, they assured the public that they were committed to uncovering the truth about what happened to Devon. Rumours and speculations swirled through the community, fueled by the limited information available. Social media became a breeding ground for theories and accusations, creating a complex web of information, some accurate, some wildly off-base. The lack of concrete answers only deepened the mystery surrounding Devon's death. The community yearned for a resolution, for a sense of closure, that seemed elusive. Section 7. The Weight of Truth, The Trial and Its Aftermath The wheels of justice turned slowly but surely. The trial of Trayton Alexander Marsman and the unnamed co-accused began. The courtroom became a battleground for truth, where the prosecution presented its case and the defense mounted its counter-arguments. Teresa Gray, a pillar of strength throughout the ordeal, took the stand, her voice trembling with emotion as she shared her memories of Devon and the devastating impact of his loss. Her testimony was a powerful reminder of the human cost of this tragedy. The prosecution presented forensic evidence, witness testimonies, and circumstantial evidence linking the accused to Devon's death. The defense argued for reasonable doubt, challenging the prosecution's narrative and offering alternative explanations. The jury listened intently, tasked with the immense responsibility of weighing the evidence and delivering a verdict. The community held its breath, hoping for a just outcome, a verdict that would honor Devon's memory and bring closure to a painful chapter. Healing and hope for the future. The trial concluded, the verdict delivered. The journey towards healing was far from over. Halifax began the process of rebuilding and moving forward. Support groups offered solace and guidance. The community rallied around Devon's family. Memorials served as reminders of his life. A scholarship fund was established in his name. The tragedy spurred conversations about youth safety and mental health. It reminded us to be vigilant and support one another. Section 9 Devon Marsman's Legacy A Call for Justice and Prevention The tragic loss of Devon Marsman left an unforgettable scar on Halifax. From this tragedy emerged a powerful call for justice and prevention. Devon's story reminded us of the importance of community vigilance. It highlighted the need for open communication to ensure safety. Devon's legacy lived on in the hearts of those who love him.